What is up, everybody? Welcome to a special episode of the Fantasy Football Swagger Podcast. I am your host, Nick, also known as Clickwid, and I am back again bringing you guys some information regarding DeMarco Murray, the running back for the Dallas Cowboys, the NFL's leading rusher at this point in the season. We're 15 weeks into the NFL season, and guys, he is now injured. If you're somebody that drafted DeMarco Murray coming into the year, you probably assumed that at some point this guy would get injured based on the fact that the guy's been hurt many, many times throughout his career, whether it's been in college or pretty much every single year. As far as I remember, every year of his career as a pro, he's missed some time. So I guess it's almost inevitable at this point. Unfortunately, the guy is just injury prone. It sucks as a Dallas Cowboys fan, which is what I am, that I have to see this guy get hurt every year because I see him play and obviously he's getting getting a lot of promotion this year as being the NFL's leading rusher, but I've seen him and the guy is an elite running back when he's on the field. Point is he needs to be on the field to be producing for the Cowboys as well as your fantasy teams. So based on the fact that he was injured this past week, unfortunate timing on it, guys. I mean, it was in a big game against the Eagles because um, he he was in the game way too late, in my personal opinion. He was getting carries with three, four minutes left on the clock in a game that the Cowboys brought multiple scores in. I know they're trying to give him the rushing record to get him close to 2,000 yards, but this isn't this season isn't about DeMarco Murray getting 2,000 rushing yards. The Cowboys are still in the playoff hunt. You can't be letting your prime time, your big name players be out there when there's no point for them to be on the field. Put the backups out there. Let Lance Dunbar run the ball. Let Joseph Randall run the ball. I mean, what's the point in having these guys on the field right now? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I don't understand it from a, from a Cowboys standpoint. And now, as a fantasy ex, or as a fantasy, I almost said a fantasy expert. I don't want to portray myself as a fantasy expert. As a fantasy player myself, uh, and somebody that does a lot of analysis, and somebody that writes columns about fantasy football and that kind of thing, I am now having to ask myself, what is going to happen with the Dallas Cowboys? Are, is this team still going to be competitive for the playoffs? But more importantly, as a fantasy owner, what is going to happen with this backfield? Who is going to get the carries with DeMarco Murray probably out? So we've seen some different things coming out. There are some people that believe that it's going to be Lance Dunbar based on the fact that he's been kind of more productive this year than uh, than your um, Joseph Randall has been. But the problem is, is that executive president Stephen Jones of the Dallas Cowboys came out today on Sirius XM NFL radio and did say that he believes that it is actually going to be Joseph Randall who is more likely to get the bigger brunt of the carries. Now, he said that they as a team believe that he is capable of touching the ball 20 times a game that doesn't mean that he's going to touch the ball 20 times a game and I do think the Cowboys are going to have to rely more on the pass than they have when DeMarco Murray's been healthy which really has been most of the season so far the guy's been a a workhorse more than anybody else in the league so far so um, you know it changes a lot with the Cowboys offense I would not expect that Joseph Randall or Lance Dunbar is going to go out there and get 20 touches this week I think that Lance Dunbar is still going to probably remain within about his same role, but given the fact that Stephen Jones came out and and basically said that they're going to give more carries to Joseph Randall, I am thinking that Joseph Randall is probably going to touch the ball somewhere between 12 to 18 times this week against the Indianapolis Colts. So... If you're a fantasy owner, this is a starting running back playing behind arguably the NFL's best offensive line. You have to go out there and pick him up. He's the number one waiver wire priority player this week. He's the number one guy. Do not pass him up. Even if you're good at running back, if you're in the championship, if you're playing for third place, you've got to go out there and pick this guy up. And the reason for it is because even if he's not going to be in your lineup, you need to block your opponents. You cannot let them go out there and get a guy that's potentially going to put up good points this week. I understand Indy's defense has been fairly decent this year. They're nothing spectacular. They're not the Seahawks. They're not the 49ers. They're not the Cardinals. They're not one of these defenses that you cannot move the football on. So definitely go out there and go ahead, pick up Joseph Randall, make him your number one waiver priority. And if you need him this week, he could give you some good fantasy production. But like I said, if nothing else, you're blocking everybody else from getting that fantasy production. So make sure that you go out there and do it. Good luck this week, guys. I will have an additional fantasy podcast this week for sure. But I want to give you guys this quick information and give you some analysis regarding what I believe is the biggest story of the week with DeMarco Murray being injured. Um, it, and by the way, there is no guarantee that he 
he is not going to play this week. So if you have DeMarco Murray, do not drop him. You need to keep him on your roster because it could be that he ends up playing this week. Now, I question how effective he's going to be given the fact that his left hand is broken and he had minor surgery on it this week. So even though that's not his dominant carrying hand, if he's running and he has to switch the ball to give somebody a stiff arm or something like that, uh, he's now going to be holding it in a hand that is injured and he already has problems holding the ball. We've seen that this year with fumbles and things of, of that nature. So this could be a, an injury that is more devastating than people think it is, but I still think that we're going to see DeMarco Murray play at some point, whether it be in week 17 or if the Cowboys do end up making the playoffs. In the playoffs, I do think DeMarco Murray will be out there again at some point. Unfortunately, for fantasy owners, this is the championship week in most leagues, so he's going to be out there, or he's going to probably be on the sidelines this week. Like I said, no guarantee on that. Just kind of seems that way given the injury. So with that being said, guys, like I said, I want to wish you guys luck. Go out there and pick up Joseph Randall. And I will wish you guys, like I said, the best of luck this week in your fantasy leagues. This is the championship week. It's do or die time. Make it happen, guys. And I just, I, I'm so happy that everybody has been watching the show and uh, everybody's leaving comments and things like that. So if you are enjoying the fantasy information, in addition to my usual video game content, which isn't by any means going anywhere, by the way, uh, please be sure to drop a like on this. And if you're new to the channel, also hit that subscribe button so that we can grow this thing a little bit more. Thank you guys again. I do appreciate it. Good luck. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.